Hello students, welcome back to our science classes and we are continuing our lesson coal and petroleum. Next, we are going to study about our next product, what is that coal tar. Now, let us study about coal tar. Black tarry material obtained during the destructive distillation of coal is called coal tar. A black colored tarry material obtained during the destructive distillation of coal. That black colored material is known as coal tar. So, it is highly viscous liquid with an unpleasant odor. So, this coal tar is highly viscous like honey or thicker than honey. Highly viscous liquid with an unpleasant smell or there will be an unpleasant odor. So, actual composition of coal tar depends on which type of coal we have used or it depends upon the type of the coal we used for the destructive distillation because this coal are also we get as a product of destructive distillation of coal so which we have learned about different type of coals there are four types of coals are there which type of coal we have used for destructive distillation based on that we will get the composition of the coal tar okay about the coal tar we learned that it is a black tarry material and it we got it is highly viscous and we got as a product of destructive distillation of coal and next one coal tar even that coal tar we said that coal tar it is a black colored tarry material that is also not a single product that it contains nearly 200 compounds coal tar it is not a single compound it contains nearly 200 compounds so if you want to separate the different compounds from this coal tar actually coal tar is a mixture from that mixture if you want to separate the different compounds we have to undergo it for fractional distillation we can separate the different components of this coal tar by a process called fractional distillation okay now it is a time to study about the uses of coal tar what are the uses of coal tar coal tar is valuable source of raw material for manufacturing various substances such as dyes drugs explosives perfumes etc once again this coal tar is used as a source for the production of various useful materials such as drugs uh, dyes, explosives, perfumes, etc. Next one is coal gas. Coal gas is the product we got as a product of destructive distillation of coal. Coal gas, what is coal gas? The gaseous product obtained by the destructive distillation of coal is called coal gas. So, what is the gaseous product formed when we do the destructive distillation of coal? That gaseous product is known as coal gas. Coal gas is an excellent fuel. Chemically, coal gas contains hydrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. This is the composition of coal gas. So, coal gas contains hydrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. So, it has, this coal gas has very high calorific value. Coal gas has calor high calorific value. The reason is that it contains hydrogen and methane. Hydrogen and methane both are good fuel. Both have high calorific value. So, as, as this hydrogen and uh, methane has high calorific value, coal gas also has high calorific value. So, now it's a time to study the uses of coal gas. So, coal gas, we said that it is an excellent fuel earlier. Many uses were there for this coal gas. Now, it has been reduced anyway. Let us learn all the uses of coal gas. First one, as domestic or industrial fuel for heating purpose. It was used or it is still using for domestic or industrial fuel for heating purpose. It is also used as a fuel. Next one, it is an illuminant for domestic or street lighting before the electricity was invented or when electricity was not popular like today's situation then we had used a coal gas as illuminant for domestic or street lighting next one for providing an inert reducing atmosphere in reaction vessels and in some metal extraction process to give an inert atmosphere to get an inactive or inert atmosphere we were using coal gas so once again let us summarize the uses so as domestic or industrial fuel for heating purpose as an illuminant for domestic or street lighting next for providing an inert reducing atmosphere in reaction vessels and in some metal reaction process